When I was working in the public schools, there was a time that they switched over a, um, our note-taking system, our data collection system. And at the beginning, everybody was freaking out because this is new, this is hard. I don't like change. Like, why are you changing this on me? What we had worked just fine. What I was doing was just fine before. However, as we became more um, proficient at using this new system, we started to realize that this system was actually better. It was faster and had many shortcuts that our other system didn't have. So while at first it took us a lot of time and it was very cumbersome, by the end of the year, we were all thinking, this is a great system. I love this. Thank you so much for purchasing this for us. Sometimes I feel like our students just feel like we're throwing one more pointless thing at them to learn. Like they are just learning the tasks we put before them because we're telling them to learn them and they're just gonna get in trouble if we don't, if they don't do what we ask. As an educator, I really don't like that. As a parent, I really don't like that. I want my students and my children to understand why I'm teaching them something. What is their benefit going to be from learning this new skill? So with the example with the data collection system, at the beginning, all of us were learning this new skill and it was hard and we didn't have a buy-in. We didn't understand why this was better, why somebody was asking us to do it. It was just frustrating us and making us angry. However, by the end of the year, we did have a buy-in. We did realize why this system was better for us. And I want you to take this same thought process, process as you think through what your students are doing with their communication system. When we first hand out any sort of alternative and augmentative AAC communication system, um, it is challenging for probably 90% of the students. Um, and they're looking at it and they're thinking, what I was doing was working just fine. I was getting everything I wanted and I needed. Why do I need to learn this new thing? So what we need to do as the parents and teachers and speech therapists of AAC users is we need to give them a buy-in and we need to teach them and explain to them why we're wanting them to learn this. So this is the third strategy that I have where this requires nothing from the student. The student doesn't need to do anything. This is stuff that we can just pour into our students to help them learn. So what I recommend doing is I recommend after you're bringing your board with you everywhere you go and you're modeling it all the time, to start encouraging your student to see the benefit in their board. Um, it does work better if you can get the student to use their si system, I'm sorry, I said board, system, um, to use their system and to see, hey, Johnny, isn't that great that you were able to tell me you wanted to eat without having to throw a tantrum? I feel calmer and you feel calmer. This was a really good choice. And so every time the student uses their system or attempts to use or communicate in any way, we really wanna encourage and give them that buy-in to help them understand the why behind what we're doing. So just a few more examples of things that you could say to encourage that buy-in would be like, Johnny, thanks for telling me you needed to go potty. You didn't have to have an accident and I was able to help you. That feels really good. Or. Johnny, I saw you talking to Maria over there. Um, it looked like you were having a nice conversation. It's fun to make friends. It feels good to be able to use our system to communicate. So do you see that what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to explain the why and the positive benefits behind what I'm asking my little AAC user to do. Um, now some of you may say, especially those of you who are working with younger and newer AAC users is, my student doesn't have the language yet to understand those high language rich praises and compliments. Like they're not gonna understand that. Maybe, maybe not. Honestly, we don't really know how much a child truly understands. And at the very least, they do probably understand your kind, praising, you know, encouraging tone of voice. So even if you're just focusing on saying, hey Johnny, great job, this makes me feel proud and you should feel proud too. They're gonna feel that inside even if they don't know what the word proud means or they don't have the words for that emotion yet. So 
Hopefully that resonates with you. I again like all of my students to have a buy-in and understanding why I'm teaching them and what it will benefit them. So if you want to hear another tip um, from my AAC Parent Teacher Strategy Collection, go ahead and click the next video in this playlist and we'll keep rocking together.